concert for Carolina at Bank of America Stadium Saturday night. It was a packed house, right? 82,000 people showed up. That show raised an amazing $24.5 million for hurricane relief. Now, as folks were walking in, they were also being handed something. We'll talk about that in a moment. Here's the moment we're talking about is when Eric Church was performing his song, Carolina. When he hit the refrain, the wristbands that were passed out there at the gate lit up. You see them there, Carolina blue, and the crowd just went crazy. But how did those lights work? Well, that is tonight's good question. Got one of those uh, right here still with us here tonight. Now, it's not a new technology by any means. Taylor Swift and others have used it during their shows. Panthers have even used it during Fan Fest. And if you have one of the bracelets, you'll see on the wristband that it's made by a company called PixMob. They've been doing this sort of thing for close to 20 years now. The company's promotional video here, it shows what they did for Coldplay. And then they explain a little bit about how it works. So the MVTs is like any other um, moving head fixtures um, in lighting, except it doesn't shoot out a beam of visible light. It has a IR projector inside of it. So we have a tablet and a camera, uh, which is equipped with a special uh, infrared lens. So that enables us to see invisible light to the naked eye, um, but we can still use it to actually project on the crowd to verify that our mapping and our whole system is working and ready for the, uh, for the show. Pretty cool, right? So you heard it say IR projector. That's infrared technology. That's one of two ways that these can work. Basically, when we're talking to IR, it's the same way your TV remote control works. The signal sent out, the light on your wrist goes on. And for some shows, it gets really downright complicated. They're going to use several transmitters to create specialized effects. Now, the other option is RF wristbands. Those wristbands receive a radio frequency, RF, communicating the timing and the colors to go along with the music. And it appears that is the kind that was used Saturday to great effect. It was pretty cool. If you have a good question you want answered, you can just email us. Go to goodquestion at wbtv.com. Let's get a final check on the 